Welcome to College Prep Confidential, empowering your student with the elite tools they need to get accepted to their dream university. Discover test-taking blueprints from Ivy League professionals, financial aid secrets to get more money for school, and mindset tips for a better college future. Now, please welcome your host, Don Sevsik. All right, back in the saddle this week for episode 28. Society loves to put restrictions and limitations on people and their thinking. But the best performers, the legends of the world, the people who you'll never forget, don't let society dictate their life story. Instead, they bend society to their will. And you can learn valuable lessons from how these types of people think. Which is why this week, I am pleased to bring you episode 28, entitled, Fortune Favors the Bold, Solving Unsolvable Problems. One day, according to ancient Greek legend, a poor peasant named Gordius, who, by the way, happened to be the father of the future King Midas, arrived with his wife in a public square of Phrygia in an ox cart. As chance would have it, so the legend continues, an oracle had previously informed the populace that their future king would come into town riding in a wagon. When the people saw Gordius, they thought he was that person, so they made him king. And out of gratitude, Gordius dedicated his ox cart to Zeus, tying it up with a highly intricate knot, which we know as the Gordian knot. Nobody knows how he did it, but Plutarch, in his Life of Alexander, tells us how it was tied. Quote, With cords made of the rind of the cornel tree, the ends of which were secretly twisted round and folded up within it. End quote. Another oracle foretold that the person who untied this knot would someday rule all of Asia. The problem of untying this Gordian knot resisted every attempted solution until the year 333 BC, when Alexander, who we know as Alexander the Great, arrived in town. Alexander saw the rope and he felt an instant desire to unravel it. After a few attempts at unraveling it, Alexander took a different approach. He stepped back and exclaimed, What difference does it make how I loosen it? And with that, he drew his sword and he slashed right through the tangle with a single stroke. And this revealed the ends of the knot carefully tucked away inside. Now surely the challenge was, at least from society's standards, to solve the puzzle by manipulating the knot, not by cutting it. Yet, when Alexander sliced through the Gordian knot, it became the stuff of legend, giving rise to what we know as the Alexandrian solution. Ever since then, when a person has settled a difficulty by bold or violent means instead of patiently solving it, the custom has been to say that they have cut the Gordian knot in memory of Alexander's feet. Now, as we all know, Alexander went on to conquer Asia, fulfilling the prophecy. Sometimes, and this is the lesson to be learned, it's better to just cut the rope. And inside that metaphor lies the key to your college journey. You see, along the way in life, whether it's college, school, jobs, relationships, you're going to have a lot of people give you advice friends, family, colleagues, strangers, on what to do, how they do it, and why you should listen to them. Here's what you need to understand. Many of these people giving advice either give you bad advice or they shouldn't be giving advice at all. You see, if we look at Alexander's situation, had he listened to society he would have sat there for years trying to unravel the rope with his bare hands. And it comes to the lesson of today's episode. Don't let society dictate 
your rules to you. Instead, bend reality to your will. Impose your will on the world. You see, society may have said Alexander cheated because he pulled out his sword and sliced the knot. Ah, but when the knot was sliced, we saw the Gordian knot has no beginning and no end. The ends were tucked up inside the string. So here's what you got to understand. You have to make your own path. The Gordian knot solution means a problem which is either solvable only by bold action or eliminating the problem. When you release yourself from society's artificial requirements on you, you become free to explore other paths, other hobbies, and other solutions to problems. Alexander bent reality to his will when he removed the constraint about untying the knot with his hands. Technically, and if we want to get deep in the semantics here and split hairs, the sword untied the rope and it revealed the ends tucked inside. Had Alexander listened to reason, a.k.a. society, and what they think, he would have been on an eternal chase of fools. Instead, he went his own way and solved the problem. Alexander embraced the secret of successful people. They're unreasonable. When you're unreasonable, you remove necessary constraints on yourself. And it reminds me of the quote by George Bernard Shaw, The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. And this goes back to what I said. Bend the world to your will. And it all starts with being unreasonable. So you may be asking, how do you do this? How do I be unreasonable? Well, that's a great question. And it starts with a three-step process. Step one, listen to your gut. If you have an idea which always comes back in your head, nags at you, and never seems to go away, then follow it. Your mind is telling you something. Step two, stop finding ways an idea won't work. Instead, ask yourself all the ways it will work. And step three, when you listen to your gut and you find ways it will work, the next step is to take action. Avoid inertia. Humans have a default state of sitting around and not doing anything. Instead, be different. Take action and get moving on your idea. You see, if we looked at Alexander, he used the three-step system as follows. Step one, he wanted to fulfill the prophecy and rule all of Asia. It was deep in his guts when he arrived in town. Step two, he stopped trying traditional, tired, old solutions, which didn't work. He ignored what society imposed on him. Step three, knowing what he wanted and trusting his gut, he pulled out his sword and he sliced through the knot. He took action. And it reminded me of another great example of being unreasonable. Henry Ford, who invented the Ford cars, said, If I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said, faster horses. Now here's another tip which will help you be unreasonable. Find a support system. When you attempt something which society considers unreasonable, it's best to find somebody who has either done it or understands and supports what you want to do. You'll have enough naysayers and people telling you what you can and can't or shouldn't do. So what's nice is find somebody who's going to be on your side and understands what you're going through and where you want to go. When Alexander sliced through the Gordian knot, it created down the road cultural references. And it's good that these references are out there because it lets people know that they always have additional options and they don't have to listen to traditional suggestions when they're trying to solve a problem. Thanks to the enduring popularity of the Alexander fable, the phrase Gordian knot has entered the lexicon for a seemingly unsolvable or impossible problem. And one of its early appearances came in the Shakespeare play Henry V, 
where the titular character is praised for his ability to unloose the Gordian knot of politics. And it all owes thanks to Alexander being unreasonable, pulling out his sword and slicing the knot and not listening to what society told him to do. You see, the story of Alexander reveals a few traits of people who have a talent for solving Gordian knot type problems. Trait number one, these people are contrarians. History is riddled with people who went against the grain and took a contrarian or unorthodox approach to skills in life. If you look at the people at the top of any industry, you'll see they do things differently. Because, let's be honest, most people do and say the same things. They act the same way. So is it any surprise that they get the same results as the majority, as everybody else? Trait number two. These people are bold. They act decisively and quickly. They do not hesitate. Because the longer you wait, the higher the probability increases for you to delay your decision. And delay often equals defeat for solving problems. Because the longer you sit around and hem and haw and think about it, you're going to talk yourself out of it. And trait number three, they don't care what other people think. All they care about is solving the problem. The result comes first, and applause and praise and pats on the back from society take a back seat. If you're ever stuck on solving a Gordian knot problem, ask yourself this one question. What would I do if I had no restrictions, no regrets, and no limitations? What you do is you'd craft your solution from there, and you may start off with something completely crazy, but then you walk backwards from outlandish into the realm of possibility. So when you're faced with a Gordian knot type problem, exams, financial aid, college prep, or life, why not try the Gordian knot solution? You'll thank yourself in the morning, and you just might put your name in the history books. I mean, look at Alexander. Would he still be called Alexander the Great? Would he still have books written after him? Would we still be talking about him thousands of years later had he not pulled his sword out and slashed through the Gordian knot? Think about it. College prep seems like a Gordian knot at times. Exams, financial aid campus tours, changing requirements. It's a lot of work. So I want to help. I've put together a list of resources just for you. And you can find them at cpcshow.com. That's cpcshow.com. Let this resource page be your sword to slice through the Gordian knot of college prep. I want to thank you once again for listening. And I will see you next week. That's all for this episode of College Prep Confidential. To discover how to give your student a better future by increasing financial aid, improving test scores, and reducing stress, visit our website at cpcshow.com. That's cpcshow.com.